According to U.S. News Education, there are five things you need to do to get along with your roommate. Call, don't click. In other words, don't just look them up on Facebook. Give them a call and introduce yourself. Second rule, don't let problems pile up. It could lead to a disaster. Third rule, you don't have to be the best you don't have to be best friends. Fourth rule, compromise. Come up with something that works for both of you. And lastly, set rules. I am sure everyone will experience a horrible roommate in their lifetime. I have also dealt with a horrible roommate my freshman year at USD. I will be evaluating Dayton Braley's commemorative speech. I will be evaluating his overall message, his strengths and things he could improve on, and his overall delivery. Dayton had a very effective attention getter because he started off with something I could relate to, a bad roommate. He was presenting an award, which was formal and well written. The message that Dayton was trying to get across was that he had a horrible roommate and he wanted to share his experience with his par this particular roommate. I thought his message was appropriate for the occasion because he was explaining how bad his roommate was and why his roommate deserved the award. Dayton used a simile of the aroma from his roommate. He said the smell of rotting food was like walking through a dumpster of baby diapers, and I'm sure everybody has changed at least one diaper in their life. He used this simile appropriately to get the point across of how bad his roommate smelled. Dayton continued to have eye contact with his audience throughout his speech. He was very well prepared for this speech because he did not stumble over his words and his tone of voice was constant throughout. One strength that I believe Dayton had was continuing to have eye contact with his audience. He spoke directly to his audience, which would be important if he was actually giving an award. One thing that I think Dayton could improve on is his enthusiasm. His, he was presenting a funny award and he could have added more humor to his voice unless he really wasn't happy about his previous roommate. Um, overall, I felt Dayton did a very good job on his speech. Roommates can be, a very hard, can be very hard to deal with and it can really affect your college experience. I hope Dayton's next roommate won't be as bad. Thank you.